What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a classic vintage split tone effect in Lightroom. We post new content every week so make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social media using the links in the description. Also check out newlayer.com and sign up for the email list to get special offers that are only available for email subscribers. Let's get started. So here's the before image and here's the after and I'm going to take you through my workflow and the order that I do things to create this vintage split tone effect. New Layer members can download these raw images in the project files at newlayer.com, but you can also apply this effect to any image that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this. And the first thing that we're going to do is make some basic exposure corrections. So I'm going to come to the exposure and bring that down a bit. And I usually like to bring the highlights down and the shadows up just to get a higher dynamic range in the image. So I'm going to bring the highlights down a bit and increase the shadows just a little bit. And then what I like to do is increase the whites and decrease the blacks until I basically max out the histogram up here. So I'm gonna drag the whites to the right. And there's nothing in this image that's really actually white, so I'm not gonna take it all the way over, but I do wanna brighten the image a little bit. So I'm gonna leave it at about 45. And there are some dark shadows in here and just a little bit of black. So I'm gonna drag the blacks to the left so if we look at the before and the after, we've added a little bit of contrast and just made an overall clearer image. Next, I want to further enhance the contrast and the clarity, so I'm going to come down and increase the texture slider. And this image is really rustic, so increasing the texture is going to make it look even better. And then I'll increase the clarity as well. For that real vintage look, we're going to desaturate the image a bit, so I'm going to come down and drag the saturation down to about negative 30 or so. And to add a faded film look, I'm gonna bring up the blacks and bring down the whites. So anything that's black is now gonna become really dark gray, and anything that's white is gonna become really light gray. So we'll go into the tone curve, and I'm gonna give this an S curve instead of a straight line. So first I'm gonna add a couple points here and here, and that will make sure that the middle of my curve remains the same, and we're only really working on the shadows and the highlights. So I'm going to drag the bottom left point up just a bit and drag the top right point down just a bit. And you can see that it adds kind of a faded effect. Now we'll start our split toning effect in the actual split toning panel. So first I'm going to work on the highlights. So I'll turn the saturation all the way up. That way it's really easy to see what color we're working with. So I'm going for an orange and teal combination. So I'm going to drag the hue slider over to the right and I already know usually 40 to 50 is where you get a pretty good orange color. And then I'll decrease the saturation a bit to about 45. Next I'm going to increase the saturation of the shadows all the way up. And I know that 200 to about 230 or 240 is a good for a teal to a blue to a purple color. So I'm going to move the hue over there. And about 220 looks pretty good. So I'll leave that there and I'll bring the saturation down to about 75. The balance slider tells Lightroom what you want to be considered a shadow and what you want to be considered a highlight. So if I drag this all the way to the left, it'll consider more of this image in shadow and add blue to that. And if I drag it all the way to the right, it'll consider more of it highlights and add that orange color. To get a split tone, you need a little of each, but you can play with the balance to get the look that you want. For our image, I'll set it to about 50. So you can see in the shadows there's some blue, and in the midtones and highlights there's a good amount of orange. And if you look at the before and the after, it becomes more apparent. Next I'll go under Effects, and adding a vignette always helps with aged photo effects like this, so I'm going to drag the amount down to about negative 20, and I'll increase the midpoint just a little bit so the vignette only affects the edges of our image. And lastly, I'm going to go down into the calibration panel. Now, this is a trick that's becoming more common and more trendy with photographers, but it works well for the orange and teal split tone color combination that we're using. If I go into red primary, I can change the hue slider, and that will tell Lightroom to shift all the reds one way or the other. So I can make all the reds look more pink, or I can make the reds look more orange. So I'm going to shift the reds towards orange just a little bit, around 25. And then it's the same thing with the green and the blue. So under the green primary, I can shift the hue of the green colors towards yellow 
or towards a bluer color. So I'm gonna shift those a little bit towards yellow, about negative 25. And then the blue colors, I wanna be a little more teal. So I'm gonna shift that to the left just a little bit, about negative 25 as well. So again, we can look at the before and the after. So we've made this image more rugged looking, gave it a faded film look, and added a nice orange and blue or orange and teal split tone effect. That's it for now guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and give us a subscribe. Also leave a comment below letting me know what you want to learn next. I'm JT Shaver for New Layer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.